Because now brother wants to know about the Islamic software. Now coming to the Islamic software, again the purpose is important. The purpose of the Islamic software, suppose a company has created a software of the Quran, of the Hadith, and spent a lot of money. And then if that software is available in that country, in that city, and for you to save the money, instead of paying 5,000 rupees, you want to buy 200 rupees, then it is haram. But if that software is not available, if it is software created abroad, and no one in Bombay has, one person has, and your intention is not to save money, your intention is to use it for knowledge and spread it, then it's fine. But then if you take that software and make a copy and sell, it is haram. The selling person is surely haram. If you make a copy and give it free to your friend, it may come in the gray area, no problem. But see to it that unnecessary you should not got damage to the main person who has produced that software. So if you're living in a country where software is easily available, and then if you pirate it to save money, it is wrong. But if you're living in one part of the world where the software is not available, and you want to have knowledge of the Quran, want to search the Quran, want to study the Quran or Islam, etc. And then because of lack of availability, if you make a copy, inshallah, inshallah, I'll forgive you. But if you make it as a business, make copy and sell, then it is wrong. You can directly tell to the company, see so and so, so and so thing is there. I want to make copy, then sell, give me permission. With permission, no problem. Hope that's the question. And brother, have any question?